brave and beautiful souls. Welcome to this energy update for September 2021. In this video, I'm going to share downloads I've been getting about what to expect from the energies of September 2021. And I'm also going to share tips that I was given by Spirit for preparing for this time physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And also three spirit animals that are stepping up to support us as power animals at this time. So before we get started, I just want to just let you know, I am speaking to a very specific group of souls here, soul warriors who have incarnated into this world here with a specific soul missions to assist the world in this tremendous shift of consciousness in very specific ways at this time. Um, so some of what I'm going to relay uh, and some of its channeled is rather hard to hear and not everyone's soul mission is going to resonate with this at this time. So if this material doesn't resonate with you, no worries, just go on, find some other channel that's more uh, 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 cohesive with your energy. Um, there's plenty of other great channels out there, but if it does resonate with you, you're really going to know it. Okay, so I'm going to start with just sharing the downloads that I got when I asked my guidance um, about the energies of 2021. So this is the first thing they told me. A heat wave is coming. You will be subject to fire. Bridges will be burned. There will be no going back. This is a time of choice. Make your decisions now. Choose which side you are on and act accordingly. The easy way will be made attractive. It is a slippery slope to death. Those on, those slope, on that slope will want you to follow. Look for their auras. Many will have already lost their auras at this time. It takes courage to follow the chosen path. Courage will be required of you should you choose the path of light. No one said it would be easy. Yet the more difficult path at the beginning is the blessed one in the end. <laughs> okay, so I really actually hesitated before relaying this message in its entirety because it is... <laughs> Um, it, it's rather harsh and so I really did a lot of praying and feeling into it, it, is this really the message that wants to be given and, um, I, I actually went in and asked again and I was given basically the same message and so I'm feeling like okay this is it and I'm feeling you know um, there there comes a time in everybody's awakening you know, individually where you've got to wake up and really look at reality. <laughs> um, it was a point I had to go through and a point that I think each and every one of us will have to go through. If you have been through a tremendous spiritual awakening of your own, you probably can pinpoint that time where you had to actually face the reality of what was going on in your world and make a choice, make a decision, and it probably wasn't an easy decision, but it took you through to a better place. That's where I'm feeling we're getting to as a society right now, as a collective. So that's why I chose to actually relay every word of that message. Okay, before I go on, because uh, they gave me some tips for preparing, I just wanted to bring forward the spirit animals that are coming forward to support us because remember the animals are really here to support us through the 3D world right that we have to navigate. So the first one I just want to mention that lion spirit has been really strong all through the lion's gate of this the, the month of August and I'm still feeling that you know with us through September um, if you if you want to go and check out my Lionsgate video that will give you a little bit of a good background, I also plan to upload a Lion Spirit video very soon. Um, but really, it's courage, heart, and the willingness and ability to roar, right? To actually really speak your truth in a powerful way. The next one that came up, I asked the guidance to please show me a picture relevant to the energies of September 2021 and they showed me this uh, this little dragonfly with spirals um, right there 
and it re really reminded me of a dragonfly picture that I did, a painting that I did last winter called Sovereign Spirit. So I looked that up on my, uh, my gallery site, and just the write-up there I think is really relevant. Um, so if you choose to work with dragonfly, here's the message that goes along with that. The dragonfly, as well as being a powerful symbol of transformation, it's also a symbol of spiritual maturity. So this painting symbolizes the awakening soul breaking away from the darkness to fly free in the night. Really about freedom, okay? Uh, the four wings of the dragonfly are numerologically significant and represent order and a strong foundation. Four is also the number associated with the archangels. And there's an archangelic energy all over this uh, us right now as well, um, just so you know. <laughs> the solar disk at the top of this painting can be seen as the sun, representing the life-giving force of the universe. And it also symbolizes the solar plexus chakra, the center of power in the etheric body. This painting can therefore be used in meditation to help strengthen this important energy center of the body or just Tuning into dragonfly also would work, along with the root chakra if we're like also turning into this color red. As an alternate, alternate interpretation, the black area of the painting can also be seen to, to represent the void. Meditating on it this way can assist one in finding one's personal power through the practice of stillness and inner peace. And at this time, I'm really feeling like that stillness is still so important, right? To, to be really anchored in the stillness, that's one thing that's really gonna support us grounding and anchoring in, in, in that void energy, in that great mother energy, super important, but also I'm feeling divine masculine, a super also really coming forward right now. Um, that solar energy mentioned in the dragonfly, also very, very prevalent in the lion, as well as the next spirit animal that is really coming forward strong for me at this time, which is eagle. There was um, a meeting that I had with my wolf pack on Patreon, and we did readings for each other. And we, um, eagle just came up like five or six times. It was just like eagle, 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 eagle. So we each looked into it and, and found, um, you know, kind of read into, uh, just tuned into eagle energy to see what it would tell us. So I just wanted to share with you what eagle told me when I tuned into his energy, both about himself and about right now. And it's golden eagle. This is what, uh, <laughs> what came forward. I am energy. I am the power of lightning, the thunderbolt that strikes without warning. Where I soar, I weave the electric energy into the fabric of being. I energize the heavens with my wings. My flight is a dance that brings life to the air and to the earth beneath it. I spread my wings and it is a blessing, a benediction of the earth from the power of above. I am strength, I am certainty, I am both radiant heart and piercing eye. I see the truth of things and my focused gaze hits the mark. I am an arrow, I fly true, I am deliverance. You are tougher and more resilient than you may think. Joy is your ally and your most effective weapon. They will try to wrest it from your hands, guard it fiercely. Your joy is your ticket to freedom. And I love this. Um, first of all, I, I think it's really interesting that he's talking about the electric energy and weaving that electric energy. The electric energy is the masculine energy, right? It's the, the magnetic being feminine. Okay, so this is really talking about energizing the masculine principle, the divine masculine in us and in the collective, um, and, and that really being an activation of that energy. Um, keep in mind that with this activation of masculine energy, there could be an activation on both the light and the dark sides. So thunderbolts that strike without warning, that could be something that might be happening, but it could also be a really positive thing, right? Um, this, this light from above. So just keeping that in mind. Um, all right, so then I asked, how best can we prepare for the energies of September 2021? And the guidance gave me just insights or suggestions for the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies. All right, so starting with the physical, they say, air is of the essence. You must protect your breath. Give yourself space to breathe. Bring fresh air into your home. Breathe from your belly. Breathe throughout the day as though you were on your yoga mat. 
life is now yoga in action, which I love. And even if you don't do yoga, this concept of being very aware and present of your, your breath and just everything that you're doing, that is, I think, what they're talking about here. So, and especially in pertaining to the physical body and to our physical presence, our action here on, in the world right now. Um, okay, so emotionally, love your inner child, the small frightened one. Forgive those around you whose inner children are crying and afraid. Light a candle of love in your heart and know that this flame cannot be extinguished without your consent. Know that with courage you can overcome. Okay, um, this is beautiful as well and it talks about that concept of consent, all right, because we are going to be challenged about what we're willing or not willing to consent to and we're, we've already been challenged we're going to be increasingly challenged and remember that one of the most powerful things that we can do is just say I, I don't agree with this I don't consent to this right and to really draw that thick red line in the sand of, about our boundaries okay this is all about boundaries right now okay um, so but it also moves to you know the compassion that we have like you know we're <laughs> there may be things that ask you to act against your own compassionate heart okay and <laughs> we need to be aware of that because sometimes it's not really obvious what we're being asked to consent to so another thing about just being really aware okay for the mental body Review the 12 spiritual laws. Make sure you understand them thoroughly. This will help you to understand all upcoming events and maintain your stability and faith through these times. Okay, um, and I personally would love, you know, I'm planning to review these laws. If that's something that you would like me to make into a, a workshop or a series of events um, for, you know, just for anybody who wants to uh, attend, let me know in the comments because I'm willing to do that. I think these 12 spiritual laws are super, <laughs> super, you know, important and also really, really helpful for maintaining one's truth. So if, if, if you'd be interested in something like that, let me know. And then spiritually, call on your ancestors. They have seen it all. They have come through hard times. Your unbroken ancestral lineage transcends time. Your ancestral line includes also those in the perceived future as well as the past. When you connect with your ancestors, you tap into a powerful reservoir of healthy DNA. Ask and through this connection, you may be healed. This is a stabilizing force for you. Your ancestral connections will help to ground you, to stabilize you, to hold you steady in your rightful place. They will show you that your beingness is far greater than it appears, that you exist on many, many levels and in many dimensions of time and space. With the help of your ancestors, any requests of divine assistance will be amplified. Call for them and they will be there for you. Even if you feel you are alone, when you stand in the presence of your ancestors, two or more are always gathered. Your ancestors are always with you. Um, I found that extremely powerful. Um, and, and when I read that first, it was just like this real feeling of empowerment. <laughs> um, really feeling into that ancestral power is always there for us. Okay, so just some takeaways. If you're resonating with this, um, I'm not going to sugarcoat things. I think this has already been made clear. The feeling I get is that we're really likely to enter into a very, very intense time. It could be very challenging. A um, couple thoughts about this. We're being asked to operate in multiple dimensions at once. So it's really super critical, I think, to keep in mind that from a higher perspective, from the 5D and up, there's no fight, right? Everything's for the highest good. Light and dark are dancing together, so there's really nothing to fight against. All we need to do is focus on the light, and you know things will work out all right. Um, on the other hand, this is a transition time, so we're also operating in the 3D and 4D perspective, right? And this is where the majority of humanity is at this time. 
And from this level, there's a freaking spiritual war going on, right? With a truly horrendously evil agenda that's being systematically implemented across the entire globe. Now, take this or leave it. Follow your own guidance. Feel into your own guidance. If, it's, if you don't feel this is true, by all means, unsubscribe, click away. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Um, but if anything of that is resonating with you, then then, you know, it's really, really great time to really be aware and start really being careful of your boundaries. Um, okay. And I'm really feeling like this, whatever it is, this dark side is going to really start making more and more intense power plays at this time. So we're being asked to navigate that reality without losing sight of the higher reality. The higher perspective is that we're all one, right? Um, so because if all you're seeing is the warfare, if you're just caught up in this whole spiritual warfare thing without the higher perspective, you're going to get stuck in there, right? You're never going to get beyond the 4D. But it's also important to keep an eye on that 4D perspective, right? And to navigate what's happening there because that's going to just help us to, you know, not be complacent, right? So right now we've got two big enemies. And I'm talking about enemies within ourselves. One is fear and the other is complacency. This is not a time to sit silent. Like I said, this is really about boundaries, recognizing our boundaries, you know, finding our truth, standing for our truth, standing up for ourselves, standing up for those who can't stand up for themselves, right? Um, we've got to become fearless and remember why we're here. And it's, it's really time to draw a line in the sand and let that divine masculine loose, right? As well as the divine feminine, you know, the one, the inner lion, the one who insists on truth and doesn't back down when it comes to upholding it and to protecting the innocent. That's what the divine masculine does. Okay. So there's a lot of talk about toxic masculinity, but a lot of that has actually disabled the masculine in general. We need you guys, right? Not just like, you know, the divine masculine within each of us and actual embodied divine men, right? Masculine men who are willing to stand up and, you know, do what the divine masculine does, which is to protect, to serve <laughs> and, and, and to protect, right? Um, and, and to really call things out. So a lot of us may be called to embody that lion spirit, whether you're male or female or however you identify. Um, and that means to cultivate courage, to stay in your heart and to roar your truth. Okay, this is not a time to hold back. And um, right now, I just also want to share some guidance that my husband's guides gave to him that he shared with me. I'm sharing with permission. And it was just a really simple three part guidance. And that was one, to plan for the best two, to prepare for the worst, and three, to rise to the occasion, okay? Um, very simple, but I found it really, really helpful. It's like very clear, that's what we, we can do. I mean, planning for the best means, you know, we are creator beings. <laughs> we are creator beings, and we can, you know, we, we do have a say in this. Um, so any oracle work is always going to be the sharing of potential okay so just because i'm feeling a lot of dark energy coming up does not mean that it's going to happen and especially the more we actually set our minds to you know uh, bringing light into the world it really does mitigate this stuff okay um surprising things can happen expect miracles ask for miracles right um keep in mind that this is a free will planet we can change the course of history even prophesied history, right? And we are collectively choosing not only the outcome of our current situation, but how easy or difficult it will be to arrive at that outcome, okay? We are more powerful than we even know, especially when we combine our energies together. So that's why it's so important to stay connected both to our spirit teams and to each other. In all ways, and I'm talking physical connection and our right to assemble is super critical right now, as well as connecting digitally. But if these things should become difficult, remember, even if there's a total shutdown, even if every one of us is in isolation, we are always connected with each other. We are always connected with our spirit teams. Don't lose faith in this. <laughs> Don't lose faith. We are one. We always will be one. 
Okay, so I'm just going to close with an invitation. I did mention the wolf pack, uh, my root wolf pack group earlier on Patreon. Um, we do meet every week. It's a very small, intimate group. So if you're feeling the need for some soul sharing with, a, you know, soul brothers and sisters, uh, we get together to just support each other as well as uh, work on our um, intuitive connection with spirit. So I um, would love for you, for you to join us if you're guided. Uh, we'll leave the link to that in the description below. Other than that, thank you so much for being you, for sticking it out, and remember that you were born to be free. <laughs>